Hey everyone, starting another video with our white chocolate Americanos. Yep. <laughs> It's Thursday, October 17th. Yep. And we have a story time that we're gonna share with you while in the car. We teased it in our last video and <laughs> um, Joe Hayes, I know you did not like that we did a teaser and I'm sorry and, and you're also, finally gonna get. Ken Mears commented and said, where's the story time? Oh yeah. And I said, it's coming. So for a lot of you, that was a lot of pain to wait for, but luckily it's only been, what, like a week since we uploaded that? Yeah, I don't know. A week or two? Yeah. So, don't have no fear. We're back. So, it's a it's hot Wednesday. summer day. <laughs> it's a hot summer day. It's Wednesday, August 7th, okay? <laughs> Happy birthday, Nick Goodwin. <laughs> I come home from office hours. No, I'm sorry. I go to office hours because I'm in a summer class because I did that to myself. And I'm sitting in office hours, kind of distracted. I check my phone and I get an email from on-camera audiences, okay? And I, <laughs> I'm like, huh. And so I open the email, ignore my math, like I'm pretty good at doing, and then I get this email titled, Big Brother Ticket Vouchers. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And so then my math is completely in my backpack. Everything's done. I don't care anymore. I read the email and it's just talking about how I got chosen to be in the studio audience or at least wait in line to be like, have the chance to. On the next day. On <laughs> Thursday, August 8th at 3 p.m. And it's Wednesday, August 7th at around 2 p.m. <laughs> And, and the live studio audience is in uh, Studio City, California. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a good good thing to add. So they film in um, <laughs> L.A. And we live in Seattle. And how did I sign up for this, you ask? Oh, it all started two years ago. It was summer after my freshman year. And I'm sitting at home bored on my couch. And I'm like, you know, how do people get to be in the audience of Big Brother? Because if you know us, you know that both of us have an unhealthy, like, love for that show. And then I just, like, put my information in there. Rachel was actually at Summer Staff. And <laughs> she... So I couldn't even talk to her at this time. Like, we had no communication. So but, she just signed me up. So like, I was like, screw it. I'll sign up Rachel, too. I'm sure she'd want to. So I signed us both up. That was in 2017, and I got this email in 2019. Then I walk home from office hours. I'm, like, calling – or I walk into our bedroom, and I want to just scream at the rooftops. But then I look, and she's taking a nap. And I was like, okay. Because so I didn't want to wake her up. And I, Oh, and then I had, like, an hour because I was going to go celebrate Nick's birthday. <laughs> So I was home for like an hour, and, but then I, so I drop my bag off, I leave the room, call my dad, and I'm like, dad, you'll never guess what just happened to me, and I was expecting him to be like, oh, haha, that's crazy, whatever, but he was like, well, you gotta go, and I was like, <laughs> okay, so then at that point, Rachel's kind of stirring, and that's where she comes into the story, and then, um, I was like, there's no way that's real. Like, I was like, whatever. Like, I didn't really care. And then, uh, Abby was like, well, my dad said we can go. And then I kind of got a little bit more interested. <laughs> and then, um... Because my dad Abby works had... for flights, as you've seen yeah. in our other vlogs. So we don't pay for it. <laughs> yeah, and then Abby only had one ticket, which was a problem. Like, she clicked on it, and then it was like redeem two and then she's like two and then it's like she gave her it gave her one and then I looked on my email and I still had it um but I was thinking like it was a super limited edition kind of thing but yeah but that was weird in itself that you literally got the email that day too yeah because well, I signed, you signed up on the same day I know but still I don't know anyways whatever yeah and then I got two tickets after clicking on it and then um so now we had three yeah we had three and then Abby was like, oh, my mom would probably want to come. And then 
we called her mom and her mom was like sure and my then- mom loves taking days off work so that was not a problem <laughs> So then it was up to us getting time off work. Yeah, it was up to us. But And also, we had to figure out, like, where we were going to sleep and, like, put our bags and stuff. So at this point, we were like, we're going, right? Well, we're going to try. That's the other thing is our tickets just said, like, here's a voucher to wait in line and hopefully get a seat. Like, because it's first come, first serve. Yeah. So we're like... We have the potential of flying down to LA, getting to the studio, and then being turned away. <laughs> yeah, so then I called the lady that works for the tickets, and I was like, Hi, I live in Seattle, and I want to f- be in the Big Brother audience. Like, how crazy am I to fly down there? And she was like, Oh, you have a pretty good shot. And then I was like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then I... She texted her boss, I texted mine, and I was like, I have this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity tomorrow, I know that's weird, is there any way I can do it? And she was like, I don't care, and I was like, (laughs) okay, great. Um, And then the other fun thing was that, okay, so then at this point in the day, I have to leave, it's like 3 o'clock, I have to leave. And I have to go to work. Yeah, Rachel has work at 4 and my mom obviously doesn't live with us so she was remote the whole time so then the whole night we're trying to figure out our plans because the flight we needed to take was oh yeah the other thing is like we're not guaranteed a flight like we're not guaranteed a flight and we're not guaranteed spots yeah Yeah, that's the other thing so like we fly standby which again if you watch our videos you know that but the flights weren't very good like we um so that was scary because we're like what if we do all this stuff we get down there and then or I'm sorry we don't even get down there and then the other thing that was tricky was like she mentioned is that we like the rules are super specific of what you can wear bring all that we weren't allowed to bring a single thing in with us it's like not even our phones like we were basically out basically allowed to have our wallets that's it like no stuff and we're like well if we were fly- staying the night, like, we yeah. have to have stuff. Because there wasn't a flight late enough that we could have come home that same day. So we had to spend the night, and we're like, what do we do? So then we're like, dang it, we're going to have to rent a car just to <laughs> put our stuff in. And then that's why it was good that my mom was there, because she's above 25 or whatever. Yeah. So then we all go our separate ways. Rachel's at work, so she can't even, like, text us. This is still, this is Wednesday at, like, 7 now. <laughs> Rachel can't even text us, so it's just me and my mom. I'm, like, at this concert trying to text my mom. And then I'm, like, not spending the night at home that night. So then we all, like, start the day on Thursday morning early, like, 7 a.m. apart from each other. My mom's in Federal Way. I'm in Kirkland. Rachel's in the UD. And then we're, like, okay, are we doing this? So then we have to get up early. We, I go back to the UD. I pack, like, I've never packed before. The clothing was really specific. We couldn't wear, we had to wear closed-toed shoes that were nice. We had to wear no, absolutely no white. <laughs> no. Abby had like this much white on her, like one of her <laughs> pant options, and she's like, nope. Like I would. We consider, were so but no. scared. Yeah, we were so scared because what if we get down to LA and then they're like, oh sorry like go back home so I was like didn't want to risk it so I didn't even have anything to wear Rachel had to like give me a shirt you had to like dress nice like kind of not formal but kind of like just like you're gonna be on tv yeah so I wasn't feeling confident because I was like this isn't an outfit that I even want but whatever um I hadn't showered in like a day or two I wasn't feeling great but I didn't care. I'm terrified of flying, but... <laughs> Rachel gets sick on planes. So then we are, like, light railing to the airport. We make it there. We meet my mom. And then we get to the gate, and there's, like... The flight's, like, oversold. I think there's, like, negative three seats or something. <laughs> so then we're like, why are we even sitting here? Like, we're not making it. Me and Rachel are trying to catch up on the last night's episode of Big Brother so that we know who we're about to see that day if we make it so we're like in the airport like watching the episode and then we finally get called up and all three of us got or no my mom and I got seats and then and then the lady's like well like I don't know what to tell you like do you two want to go and then Rachel's like you guys should just go and we're like no like we're not going without you and then she's like 
you know what, like this lady hasn't checked in yet, Rachel, Victoria, I'll give you this seat. And then they send us to this shuttle and then we're just like, close the doors, close the doors, close the doors. Cause this other lady came on the shuttle and then she got kicked off cause she was on standby and someone like ended up checking in. So she got kicked out. So we're like, get us out of here. So then we make it to the plane, then we're on the plane. Do you yeah. wanna pick it up from there? Oh yeah, sure. I didn't feel good on the flight, <laughs> but Shocking. I was sitting next to a nice guy that was talking to me about college, so that was nice. Um, and then we landed in this really small airport. I think it was Burbank, right? Yeah, Burbank. Um, Which we think now is where all the celebrities fly in and out of. We've kind and of live. Out. Like I think that's yeah. where all the YouTubers live too. But um, like we walk off the plane onto like the hot desert concrete because it's one of those small airports um and then we what did we do after that oh we got the rental car that was that was kind tizzy. of a tizzy <laughs> yeah that was like a tizzy. um all of them were super expensive which we weren't expecting because online they were kind of they were cheaper i thought but anyways we had to send it we had no other choice <laughs> Um, and then we drove to where we were supposed to be. We were supposed to be there at like 315. Uh, 315. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they wouldn't let us in a second earlier. <laughs> so we were like, okay, we have a few hours. We need to get food. Yeah. And so we were like, we can't go anywhere far. Like we need to be close and ready. We had this because like one mile radius that we're like, we're not extending past this. Like, yeah. The like there was an was in here. and out like a few miles down and we were like, no, <laughs> but, um, cause we yeah. wanted to be parked and ready outside the parking garage at like three. Cause the so voucher, it's just a voucher. It's not a ticket. It's like, you have to get the voucher gets you in line. And we were like, we're not just getting in line, we're getting in. <laughs> so, yeah, we went to get Chipotle, like, down the street. <laughs> you good? And then, um, drove back to the studio. Also, and there was a whole tizzy at Chipotle, too. Like, this lady, like, was, like, rummaging through and, like, got kicked oh, out. Oh, yeah, Remember she got that? kicked out of Chipotle. That was scary, too. And then we, um parked like right outside the parking garage that you're supposed to park in like we tried to get in early like a few hours ago and like talk to the guy and like kelly tried to talk him up <laughs> but um he was like no like you have to wait until 3 15 and we were like fine and then we sat outside at 3 14 3 14 55 that was well, the and, longest minute of our lives oh yeah and these other people kept like walking toward the parking garage and we were like what what are they doing because the oh, guys tell, was, we had there was like 85 seats right oh there's oh yeah okay so here's the logistics there's 85 seats i think 86 or something and it's just like first come first serve or whatever but if any of the house guests slash like production crew anybody if they have any like special guests like family or whatever that they want to bring to the show they can no questions asked and they count for part of those 86 so like um the lady on the phone told me 60 i think 60 no i don't know what she oh that me. there were 60 guests yeah yeah and and the lady on the phone when she was talking to her was like we can never like predict when those people are gonna come or how many there will be like they can do it very last minute um so we were like okay like that's why we were kind of frantic because we're like okay if there's 86 seats like we're confident that we can be in the first 86 but then like what if there's only like t like 10 seats for commoners or whatever so then that's why we cared a lot but then okay so then at four three fourteen fifty five, all these people are trying to walk into the parking garage and then we have this dilemma of like <laughs> do we try to go in early too but then what if we get pushed like turned away and then we have to drive all the way back around and then it'll be like 31507 and then we're like screwed or do we just wait and hope that they don't get in cuz they were trying to like cheat the system or whatever but then we decided to just wait till 315 i think my mom was getting very impatient and rachel's yeah. like no we're just going to wait we're yeah. just going to wait so then 315 hits and yeah. we run we get into the parking garage and i'm like just park anywhere like why aren't you parking and then 
<laughs> and my mom was all like we were we almost got up to the guy at the little stand and my mom's like get your ids out get your ids where are your ids where are your ids we need to make sure we have our ids like and then we're Rachel, literally <laughs> crazy like we are crazy <laughs> I was, me and rachel were trying to like film a little clip like kind of hidden to like show what's going on my mom's like don't risk it like put it away put it away because we're, we're not allowed we had to keep our phones in the car which was also Side note, the most frustrating part about this entire experience because, like, yeah. it was the coolest thing we've ever done, and to not be able to show any of it is so hard. Yeah. But then we parked, got out, rode the elevator down, and then we had to go through these little, like, security, <laughs> um metal detector things and kelly's went off <laughs> because she had her apple watch on and we were like no <laughs> and then we were and then she was like just leave me she's like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> we were like no and then kelly's like just leave me <laughs> she's like run ahead i'll catch up and we're like no so then we had to wait so then luckily they had these little like lockers that she could rent out with like a quarter and she just threw it in there because we were like if she has to run all the way back to the <laughs> car we're like no mind you there's like three other people around <laughs> we were like the first people through security <laughs> i thought it was gonna be a dash because <laughs> i was reading on the internet where people were like yeah we had to sprint to the front and i was like well guess it's whatever we're doing and then that's why we were so stressed about her freaking Apple Watch. Because we're like, that's the 10 seconds it's going to cost us. Like, we're screwed. Yeah, and then we uh, get the paperwork. We have to sign something that says we're okay to be on TV. And then we're just waiting. And that we won't say anything to anyone about it. Yeah. Too. And then we're just waiting in line for, like, two or three hours. And with no concept of time, also. Because we didn't have our phones. So we were literally just sitting outside, like... Hope we get in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then we started getting irritated because all these people start walking in with, like, open-toed heels and, like, a bright white shirt. And we were like... Yeah. What? Yeah, we were like, oh, they're not getting like, in. Like, they look... Oh, yeah. We were like, oh, screw them. Like, they're screwed. And then turns out they did get in and they just looked better than us, but whatever. Yeah, we looked like <laughs> business women that didn't know how to dress. <laughs> Um, but when it came down I didn't to even have makeup on. I was too much of a rush <laughs> in the morning. Good thing we didn't have our phones and we could, <laughs> our vlogs would be like, Ugh. crusty. Um, but then when it came time to walking towards the studio, that was really exciting because we saw <gasps> like other studios. Like what was the one that your mom watched? Um, American Housewife. Um, we saw, like, Andy Samberg's one? parking spot. Yeah, we saw D-list celebrity parking spots. Yeah. <laughs> it was so cool. Like, you just, like, walk through the studio, because they, and you have to be really quiet, because some people are, like, filming, so they lead this whole pack. Yeah, and also, once you got there, like, the backyard was right there. Yeah, so then they lead us, and we get to Studio 18, and we're, like what is that because it's like the studio and then there's this little like outside like extension with this huge fence on the top and we were like that's the backyard and then we that's when we really started to freak out i think because yeah. we're like we're here like the house guests are inside like on the other side of that wall and like obviously for those of you most of you who don't watch big brother that means nothing to you but if you do know like that was such a like out of body experience it's well the point that was for me was when we walked in because it's like you open the door and then it's right there like there's no hallways or anything like it's just right there yeah like when they open the door we kind of assumed we would be like <laughs> we would like kind of weave through some halls then get to the studio like the filming room but yeah like you just open up and you're basically sitting down already and it was like so weird to look at because like we look at that like three times a week every summer since we were like 10 yeah and it looked like small for some reason to me i don't know like everything was mm -hmm. like shorter or something yeah but was... and then the audience is only like four rows but on tv they make it look like really big yeah it's somehow. not that many people 
but we got so lucky because since we were ended up being the first like regular people that weren't like special guests like we got we were in the second row dead center so like we could see everything so well and like if you know big brother like the wall the door that they walk out of when they're evicted like we were directly in front of that so like we could see everything so well um and then the show kind of then what happened oh, okay then this mc guy came out who's also like a producer right mm, or he's just part no. of production i yeah. guess of some kind um and we just start like going crazy like he's kind of in charge of the crowd a little bit like teaching us how to like get ready for applause at certain times or like know when to be quiet or like how to watch julie chen or whatever and he's like i'm gonna start like some of you guys are gonna get prizes tonight and we were like (sighs) like what does that mean and then um he we were all just kind of like up like da- like kind of dancing jumping or whatever and then like because he had a t-shirt in his hand and he yeah. was like oh my gosh and then he's like you and he pointed at me and he's like come up on the stage and i was like what and then i was so jealous <laughs> i went up on the stage and then he was like all right you have to earn the t-shirt and i was like oh great like <laughs> and then he's like you gotta dance for it and i was like mm. <laughs> dance for it dance for it yeah and then i danced for it and then he's like that's the widest dancing i've ever seen and i was like yeah i know i'm sorry and then he gave me the t-shirt and the whole time she was looking at me like i was looking at you because you were supposed to be my dance teacher in the audience like showing me what to do (laughs) so she got a shirt right away and i was like oh my gosh happy for her but also like what the heck like i want one we'll insert a photo here but they say like big brother audience so i like we just needed them you know and then next thing we know julie chen walks out and i've never had my jaw lower to the ground before like she was breathtaking and that was yeah and i always like whenever the house guests were like oh julie you look great tonight like you look like you're beautiful i was always like yeah like she's tv material but but then we saw her in person she's gorgeous and her outfit was, like, probably the prettiest, like, look I've ever seen her have. Like, she had, like, a high pony with, like, volume and, like, curls yeah. and, like, a bright orange dress. Like, oh, my gosh, it was so pretty. And then she was, like, sorry, like, I have pen marks on my hand. Like, I was trying to, like, finish writing my questions. So then we realized how involved she is in the show. Yeah. Because I think we both kind of assumed that she was just, like the one to like deliver the information or like be the spokesperson but we didn't realize that she's the one like strategizing thinking of questions for the house guests like she's in it so that was really cool and she was like practicing her like intros and stuff um then i (laughs) earned my shirt because um the host was like okay i want to give out some more shirts like who's not from california and I, at this point i was like all right i don't care how big of a fool i make of myself i just need attention so that i can get a shirt and i was like me 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 and then he's like where are you from and i was like we're from seattle and he was like oh wow like you traveled down just for this and i was like yeah like we had to take our days off work and all that stuff and he was like wow that's a lot or something like he thought it was kind of dumb you're what or what not dumb but he was just like oh gosh what did i say i don't know you were just really milking it i was milking it and then he's like here for traveling that far like i'll give you a shirt and he tosses me one and i was like yes (laughs) that's all i cared about um and then and then the show happened and it was awesome so like it was so weird to see like them talking to julie like in the diary room like through video like we watched that that happen and then the person gets evicted we see them on the screen like hugging their friends goodbye whatever like they're on the screen and then all of a sudden the door opens and like then they're real human beings and we're staring at them in the eye and it was like it was so weird yeah and like if you've ever seen the show before like the house guests always crowd around the door to try to like wave to the audience so that they have some like human interaction for five seconds and because of where we were sitting we just looked them dead in the eye and we were like oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that part was really exciting that was probably my favorite part and the guy that we made eye contact with mickey or jackson or whatever he ended up to go going on to win the season so we like made eye contact with the winner yeah 
And then the evicted person, Jack, we got, we were there the night that Jack got evicted and, like, we got to watch him, like, interview with Julie and stuff. And, it and was that like, was an intense one because he was kind of controversial and so Julie was, like, really trying to get it out of him. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. Um, and then we left and we were, like, really sad. Like, it was kind of like when you get, like, post-concert depression. That's kind of how I felt like... Because the way that we describe it to anyone that asked is, like, we were living... Like, that felt like a dream the entire time. Like, I can't describe it other than that. Like, it was just so weird. Like, because we know everything so well. But then to be there in real life, it was just so weird. Like, Mm -hmm. Like, in the best way. And then we, like, walked through the studio again to get to our car we like got in our car we like immediately called my dad on our drive because then we were driving to a hotel we were like telling him all this stuff like dad that was so sick and we were all just like talking over each other and then um we got the to the hotel at like 10 no maybe 9 no we dropped the car off at the airport at like midnight oh my gosh you're right oh yeah we got there at like yeah very late and then we woke up at, like, 3 for our flight home. <laughs> and then whenever we fly early in the mornings, that's when Rachel does her worst. So then yeah. that didn't go well. I was finishing my math homework on the plane home because I had math class at uh, 10... Tw- wait. 10.20... Yeah, I had class at 10.20, and our flight got back at, like, 9, <laughs> and my homework wasn't done yet, so I was, like, on the plane, like, doing my homework. My I ran out of lead, and then it was this whole thing, and I was like, I'm not going to finish my homework, but I'm, like, sitting on the plane doing my homework. Rachel's sitting on the plane, like, thinking she's going to throw up. <laughs> um, I was like, this is my last flight of all time. <laughs> yeah, we, oh, yeah. So she didn't end up throwing up, that's right, she didn't end up throwing up that flight, but when we got to Seattle, we were, like, walk into the car and I was like how'd you do and she was like um I did fine um I'm never gonna fly again but like it was fine <laughs> um yeah and then we got home and went back to our daily lives yeah and have no videos to- oh except we'll insert we do have a screenshot to show you of like you can see us in the audience oh yeah so we'll show you that but that was yeah that's literally all we have to show for it which is no, so I sad a few things in the car and stuff no i know but i'm saying in the experience oh, yeah. like we didn't it's which is so frustrating because that was like probably the coolest thing i've ever done ever like in my whole life and to not be able to show like have anything to look at is like so <laughs> hard especially because i'm such a person to like save memories and like like, take my videos every day and all that, and so to not have that is just so hard, but, like, but the memes, but we got them up here, yeah, and so, basically, that was the highlight of our summer, neither of our summers were, like, wild, I feel like, except for that, well, and, like, you went to Mexico, but, yeah, that was, like, the pinnacle, that's it, join us next time, when we have another crazy experience. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> we have so many. Because <laughs> we're crazy. Yeah. Um, let us know if you want our next video to be a vlog or a sit-down. Yeah. Because we haven't done a sit-down in a while. I guess this was kind of one. But we haven't done, like, a... Challenge. Yeah, a challenge. A boyfriend challenge. Yeah, let us know if you want to exploit our relationships again <laughs> soon or... Let us know what you want to see. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Yeah, that was a long one.